y'all it's your girl mt and i'm back on the scene so you already know what that means and i'm back with another video so this was really a random thing i just got out the bathroom i was ready to eat my food so i'm not even why don't we just do a little mukbang slash roll-up session with y'all because i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna <clears throat> sorry excuse me i'm gonna roll up a little piece after that so yeah for me like i'm like Get it too with me, like. But you know, I'm not proud, but a bitch eating McDonald's for now. But I, I just want something little because, um, my mom, my mom cooking right now, so I don't want to get nothing big. So I just got me some nuggets and some fresh cookies, cause you already know them fresh McDonald's cookies definitely be busting. So that's my cap, but let me check out my napkin. Okay. I'm probably not gonna eat all this because I can never finish my McDonald's. I don't know why I don't ever finish my McDonald's. But you see them. Yeah. He's fresh. But yeah, so what do you like wouldn't like like, what do y'all want to talk about? Like, I'm shy. Like, oh. I'm a little shy. It's like, no, I'm not. Okay, good from. Let's talk about, okay. We're going to do trending topics. So, what's trending right now? Hmm. Um, let's talk about friendships, right? So, like, in your friendships, do you prefer? Okay, because I seen this post on Facebook, right? And I fuck with the post, but at the same time, I don't. It was like 50-50 because it was basically saying that your friends shouldn't put no negative input on your relationship. They should just, you know, let you do you or whatever and let you go on your own. I agree with it to a certain extent. If my friend comes to me asking my opinion for me, like, one thing I can't do is lie to my friends, so... If your outfit ugly, I'm going to tell your outfit ugly. If your hair look fucked up, I'm going to tell your hair look fucked up. If anything, like anything, even if it's the littlest thing, I don't feel like I should have to lie to my friends. Like, that's just what's good with tea. So, what I didn't like about that post is, posts like that, a lot of people die because of shit like that. Because their friends... They think that toxic shit is cute. They think that your boyfriend not letting you go anywhere is cute. They think that your boyfriend dressing you is cute. They think that you not having your own separate life away from your boyfriend is cute. It's not. It's not. It's not. So, I wouldn't say don't share your negative thoughts at all because sometimes we don't know what's good for us and a lot of women that have been murdered beaten up abused by their boyfriends they they will tell you like i should listen to my family i should listen to my friends you know everybody had bad vibes and you know so it's like i would say 50 50 because but it is also a thing like don't ever cut your friend off over something her man did to her now if if her man did something to you then okay you have all rights to feel so strongly that you don't want to be you know you don't want to be around anybody that's involved with him but if it's something that he did to her and um, whether it like if it's cheating or um anything like that i would say mind your business because 
especially if she's the type of friend that always goes back because it's like I've experienced it I've had friends who's experienced it siblings all that when someone's constantly telling you they don't want you with this person this person's not good for you this this, and that it comes off as hate message it comes off even though that's not the intention it comes off as hate it comes off as envy and then enviness you know when you envy someone's lifestyle they 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 automatically start thinking that you're jealous of them they start thinking that you're only saying these things because you wish you had what they had like they think everything but what it really is and that's what you don't want you want them to feel like you love them you want them to feel like you support them you want them to feel like if they did leave that situation you're gonna help them through it you know so i used to get like that with my friends and my family like you know about situations like that but now i'm to the point where it's just like i mind my business when you need me i'll be there but i mind my business so um yeah i really just be you know letting things go how they go until it goes too far now if it gets to the point where there's injuries you know like serious injuries broken bones stuff like that um any type of abuse then i would definitely say don't um don't don't hold your tongue and if you see that your friend is in a very bad space you might want to try reaching out to their parents um someone of someone and if they're too grown i would say someone that they respect someone who's you know someone who they value their opinion um yeah i would say do that and um another thing how do y'all feel about okay how do y'all feel about because i i had this this conversation multiple times before but it came up again recently in a situation so when you consider about somebody a friend right my thing is right the way i am the way i am with all my friends the way i've always been is right anywhere we go that we're going together whoever we came with whoever's in our group we look out for them so if you get into a fight i'm right there if she gets into a fight i'm right there if i get into a fight them two better be right there No, do not shave but what i really wanted the more of the question is do you guys feel like there's an excuse when it comes to loyalty so like mm -hmm. i got a lot of people saying oh you know well you know she doesn't fight you know she can't fight you know you know that um that's not how she is or whatever because i'm not a fighter mm -hmm. don't get me wrong i'm a very blunt person i have anger issues I definitely will fight, but I wouldn't characterize myself as a fighter because I don't fight for no reason. It's not fun. I mean, sometimes it'd be a little fun, but. It'd be a little fun, but it's not fun to the point where I look for it or I go out my way or I drag it like, no. But when it comes to me, it's dealt with so it's like is that a good excuse for your friend not to have your back because so either one either she can't fight she's that's not her personality or she just doesn't want to now i feel like none of those are good reasons because here's a prime example right if you're getting jumped and your friend can't fight, but she's standing right there, and it's just you, you two. Don't you think that it loyalty means you should help your friend? Whether you can fight, whether you lose, whether you win, whether you draw. Whether I lose, win, or draw, I always look out for my friends. Like, I'm never going to watch anything happen. I'm never going to let anything come into harm's way with them. Like, I would never do nothing like that. And it's just like, I don't get how people do that. I'm gonna roll up while we finish talking.
I've always been that type of friend though, like from young. Like I feel like friendships are like your friends are the family that you choose. So if you like I choose my friends around me to be loyal, to be respectful, to be fun, um, people that understand me and the choices I make, people that um, value the same things I value. You know, like, so if I have a friend that feels like because she can't fight, that that means she's not entitled to, not entitled, she's not required to have my back. That's a no-no for me. That will get you fucked up. Yeah. It'll get you fucked up. So, I just want to know from you guys, like, I need y'all to comment and let me know because some people have told me, like, oh, well, you know, I don't mind that this person, you know, doesn't do nothing because I know she doesn't fight. But it's like, I don't, I don't lost a few fights. Ain't nothing wrong with losing. What you should be worried about is anybody thinking that they can do anything to you? Anybody thinking that they can speak to you any type of way? Anybody thinking they can treat you any type of way? I don't care if you lost 50 fights in your life. If all 50 of them fights you stood up for yourself, I'm glad. Because at the end of the day, you, you have to demand respect. Message! Because... If you show people that you're easy to push over, you show people that you don't you don't need the respect, that you don't care for respect, they will definitely drag it and they will definitely make you wish you made them more clear on you know on who you are because you let one thing slide and Yeah, my bad y'all. I got interrupted. So I went and rolled my shit off camera, you already know, because I got a mad company here and shit. It's like a crazy time right now. But I'm gonna smoke this with y'all and finish talking. But basically, like like I was saying, like, who are we making excuses? Like, oh, because people can't fight or whatever the case is that, that, that excludes them from having their friends back. At the end of the day, this world is too dangerous for you to be involving yourself around people that you're not even, you don't even feel safe with. Message! Like, I couldn't go to parties or anything like that with people that I didn't think, like, would help me if, like, I needed them. Like, you know, like, why would you want to be in the same area and breathe the same air as people that, you know, ain't worried about your well-being? Like, not me and my bitches. That's not what we do. We get to cracking with anybody over here. Like, I'm telling you, if, you, if you're a weak bitch, you can't, you can't be in our crew, but... I'm honestly going to make this video not too long because I'm trying to, like, just get so much done. Like, I've had, I have, like, mad videos on my phone that I have to edit, like, so I can post. I got two hair videos I got to upload, um, update for you guys. Like, I got to edit those for you guys, but I thought this would be a fun little video to do with y'all, like, just talk to y'all, like, just tell you how I feel about certain things like but that friendship really does mean a lot to me like I said I choose my friends as basically my family like the only right now I got like maybe five friends all of them I know would fight for me if I needed them so my point is don't keep nobody around you that wouldn't ride for you when it come down to it and treat people how they treat you stop being loyal to people that's not loyal to you cut them off get them out your circle you need nobody you don't need nobody in your life that's not there for you another thing i want to ask and i want your opinion in the comments another thing that's trending some people say that there's mad videos that go viral, like, of a girl fighting and her boyfriend jump in. I don't believe in men and hitting women, but it's again with that loyalty shit. Guys, this is for y'all. If y'all girlfriend, not not a girl you just like like or girl you just fucking like, your girlfriend 
she's fighting a girl and she start losing. You gonna help her? <coughs> Thank God for my reefer, man. This shit good. I have reefer, man. And have some good weed. And when I come back, that afternoon, <coughs> he don't ever have none. I want to know what kind of motherfucking deal he been getting. He need to get more of this shit. <coughs> or at least break it up. Don't leave sis hanging like that. Like, I know niggas that would sit there and, like, let a bitch get pressed. Like, let, let, let that girl get bitched. Like, I need my nigga on the same type of timing as me. Like, I need my nigga to be my protector. Like, nah, if I want to fight, let me fight. But, like I said, you always got to have my back. Like, I just want to know how y'all niggas feel about that. Some niggas say, I'll knock a bitch clean out for my, like, for my girlfriend. Like, I don't give a fuck. And I fuck with that because it's like, if you see somebody's, like, egging your girlfriend on or trying to get her out of character, it's like, nigga. You get her out of character, you get me out of character. Like, I feel like relationships is team efforts. Like, y'all a team, y'all together. So, it's like, it's vice versa. If a nigga, you don't, a nigga don't fuck with you, she don't fuck with that nigga. Like, it's that simple. I feel like these nowadays, like, they make it seem like you immature. Like, if you don't. Like, if, if you don't want your man or your friend talking to people. Don't get me wrong. If we don't have beef and I just don't, I simply don't be around you because, like, you know, we don't get along or we don't like each other's energy. They can be friends with whoever the fuck they want to be. But if I have beef, like, it's on site type shit, I can't be friends with nobody that's friends with those people. Because if I'm with you, right? If I'm with you, and I see the bitch, and she with people, I don't want to have to worry about if you're going to have my back or not, or if you're worried about helping her i don't i don't have time for like the the blurred lines like the the not knowing like i don't have time for that like i feel like it needs to be known like how the energy is like i need to be around bitches that i know like they for me and for me like you know what i'm saying like but like i said if there's no beef then you just being childish like if there's no beef and y'all don't got no issue really it's just y'all don't speak or y'all don't talk that's dumb but for me if it's beef then i feel like it's just too much like i tried it's too much like it's you don't tr like and then they always act different or they or they switch up or you know like it's just too much like to handle like nobody got time to be worried about fakeness and none of that stuff so i feel like it's just easier to hang around people that you fuck with genuinely and genuinely fuck with you hard body like like i said when it comes to beef that's a no-go for me nobody that is cool people that i beef with is my friend because it's just loyalty come first but And vice versa, that's even my problem. I go out my way, like, I be, it's hella smoky in here now. <laughs> but, sorry, y'all, but, I be very, like, my friends, like I said, they're my family. So, like, I be going hard for them. I do the most, and I be forgetting that not everybody's like me. So, that's my problem, too. So, some people got different, you know, different things that they consider loyalty. And you got to figure out. Um, you need to figure out who you match energies with. You gotta see who has the same morals as you, the same values as you, the same look on life as you. Because then those will be your good friends. Because you guys will agree on most things. Like you don't have to agree on everything because you guys are different people, different personalities, different cultures, different backgrounds. So you guys are gonna have different agreements and different disagreements on things. But most of the time you're gonna agree because you have the same outlook on life as them so a lot of situations y'all look at and think the same so the important things at least it's like you know i feel like you should always have the same vi values you know it just makes everything run smoother you know but yeah guys i need y'all to comment and say if y'all would defend y'all girlfriend you got on deal with nobody that she doesn't talk to or do y'all just my job isn't see i feel like that's females issues um and girls comment if you feel like your nigga he gotta he gotta 
he gotta come crazy about you or it's over or if you feel like it's not his business either like i need to know because i be feeling like i'm crazy sometimes but sometimes i'd be like no it's, it's not me it's you it's not me but yeah so yeah this was just a quick little video for you guys this was just me talking to you guys having a little time with y'all but you know my sister here my little nephew so i'm gonna finish smoking this and i'm gonna just spend time with them for a little bit um so thank you guys again for watching thank you guys for liking thank you guys for commenting subscribing anybody who subscribes um subscribes thank you so much for supporting me um i know i'm not up there yet but more content is coming and i just want to build you guys like this is fun to me this is like something that i feel like you know can take time and shit i can make money while i'm having fun so i might as well like anyway so make sure y'all go like and comment on my last video make the snacker facts with k red for me go subscribe to her channel and let me know what y'all thought about that video and yeah stay tuned on my social medias you'll see it in the intro and in the outro all my social medias will be in there and you guys can follow me on instagram or on facebook it's um snapchat yeah so just hit me up um any ideas that you guys want all my inboxes are open all my social medias are public so i see everybody's messages i'll get to you and i'll definitely hear you out i always respond i'm very um friendly so feel free to hit me up with any ideas or comments or however you feel i want to know you guys input so thank you guys so much um have a good day you guys and make sure you get to the money today and make sure you don't take no shit from no niggas no bitches and nobody and that's on period bullshit bye